Hey, what's up? It's Nico. I just wanted to reply to this question from Wendy. She asked how to train AI with our own writing style. And while I have this video here, how I set up my writing guidelines, this is not exactly what Wendy was looking for because Wendy wanted her own writing style and not the writing style of someone else, like a public figure, say Steve Jobs or so. And so I want to address this question now. So inside CopySpace, I've created a new automation that I will share with the community in a second. But in this video, I want to build this automation with you. So on the left side, you see an email that I wrote and I sent to my Artspace mailing list. And it's a sales email and it's basically a reflection of how I write my stuff. Of course, I used AI to write it, but I would consider this my own writing style or at least that writing style that I now want to mimic in my automation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a prompt that identifies the writing style of my email, puts this in a result variable that I can then use in my following prompts. The prompt is, for example, Please have a look at the following content and identify the writing style. Write a short summary of your findings, not more than 100 words. And now I say content and now I just paste my email. So this is my email that I want AI to look at and identify the writing style. And I put this writing style in the variable writing style. All right. And let's just run this just to make sure that this works. So I'm going to delete everything on my canvas and then I run the automation and I output the result to the variable and on the canvas. All right, I can already tell that this is absolutely how I write. It was a sales email. It is used for marketing, of course. I would consider myself friendly and enthusiastic. So I think this works pretty well. So now I can switch here to result only. And now I can use my variable writing style in my following prompts like this. And I'm just making this up right now. All right, so now when I run this, it identifies the writing style of my email and then it uses this writing style to write a short Christmas story. Of course, this is just for demonstration. And in a real world example, we would of course write a sales email, a blog post, an ad or whatever. I'm just trying to make my point here. And for the advanced users of you, you may think, hey, Nico, every time you run this automation, you will always define a new writing style. Do you really have to do this? And this is a valid question. Why do we always have to define the writing style again whenever we run this automation if we are already happy with this description here? So what I would do, you can leave it like this, run a prompt every time you run this automation, but you will always redefine your writing style, right? Because you run this prompt again and again. So what I would do is I would switch to use content now and then I would just paste this writing style here and now it is static. It is not a run a prompt block anymore and now I can run this and this will be the only prompt here, right? All right, here it comes. Now you can define it for yourself. If this Christmas story matches this writing style or if it's not, I can already tell that I see some features that I use in my writing replicated in that story, I would definitely consider that this is how I would write, but test this for yourself. And if it doesn't work the first time, then maybe try to run the prompt again and see if you get a better description of your writing style. And if it's still not working, then you should consider changing the content here because the sales email in my example wouldn't be enough data for AI to look at and define a writing style. Maybe I should paste not only one email here, but two emails, or I should paste the first chapter of my book and see if AI can work with that. So there are multiple ways how you can tackle this. I'm happy with how this turned out. It works for me. And yeah, let me know how it works for you.